yeah, some, some, and some people getting stuck on this. All right, so we're gonna try to figure this out. I did some of before class started, like an hour, like an hour. All right, so let's let's go from the beginning. This one I like to on your assignments. Here, the picture the picture opposite shows a number of voltage sources. Click on a source that provides an AC voltage. So basically, that's pretty simple. Oh, this is a battery. That's not it. So we got this one and this one. We can't see your screen. Oh, you can't see the screen? Oh. No. Oh. Oh, you can't see my screen. Hey, uh, hey, Gabriel, stop sharing your screen. Um. At the bottom, it says stop sharing. I don't think I'm sharing anymore. Oh really? Alright. Got it. Alright, so what I was, what I was saying here was that uh, we had to I had to press the two buttons, the two pictures of AC, which is these two here. And this is what some of the people are having trouble with is the is this uh, DC to AC voltage. And I'm just gonna walk through it. Number two, what abbreviation is used? For oscillating current, obviously AC is oscillating DC at direct current, All right? AC is like a pickle coil, DC is like a battery, like a car battery. Now here it says, click on a battery a number of times and pay careful attention to the direction of the current flow. Look at this one. This is positive flow clockwise. Right, negative flow counterclockwise, and you see I'm switching it here. I want like a digital signal. Now use the slider to turn the generator and pay attention to the direction of the current and the voltage across the lamp. So I'm, I'm gonna move the slider. I'm gonna pay attention to this lamp. And you see, I'm you see as it's rotating here. I'm making an AC voltage. And remember, AC is above zero. Here's my zero line right here. That's the zero line right there. So going across here, going straight across, is zero. This is positive. This is negative. Below the zero line is negative. Above the zero line is positive. You can see how the voltage increases, the light gets brighter. Now, something that might have got you confused also, right now, this is a lab scope. And this is set up at two volts per division. Yeah, so meaning starting from zero, which is a zero here, we counting from this division here, that's two. Let me see some right here. So right here, that division is two volts, four, six, eight. So eight volts going up and it's eight volts going down. Since it's an AC signal and my zero is in the middle line right here. So I got eight volts going up, two volts per division. One, two, three, four. Four divisions times two volts is eight volts going up and eight volts going down. Positive, this is positive, this is negative. And my time is 50 milliseconds going across. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's a it's a 10 by it's a it's an 8 by 10 lab scope. So that's 50. All the way over here is 10. 
So 10 times 50 is 500 milliseconds. That's half a 500 milliseconds from here to here is a half a second in time. From left, from left to right, this scope set to a half a second. When both is going up, time going to the left, left and right. Horizontal, both is vertical. Mr. Davis, can you make that screen a little larger, please? Larger, yes, sir. All right, hold on one second. 